Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your daily news update from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. A lot of news out of Europe this morning. We've got Italy in the referendum with a clear no from the Italian people. Perhaps this was just um, a bit too complicated. Everyone who grew up um, and has voted the first time grew up with Berlusconi, which was a corrupt government. And actually, they might not really dislike uh, Ma uh, Matteo Renzi, but um, in the end, it might have been too complicated and also too important, this vote, to really change um, uh, the, the parliament and how it is structured. And that could have been a reason for this clear no out of Italy. Now, we have got the, when I counted it right, the 17th 70, 70th government coming in in Italy since 1945, so on average every year a new government. So there's nothing really new and now we've got the situation again that a new government must be found. Austria has also voted and um, it was a not right vote, so not a right wing vote, the independent um, party from the, um, which was supported by the uh, Green Party in, in, uh, in Austria, won. And so this is a pro-European, a pro-EU pro vote that came out of um, Austria. But one has to mention that the cities and the region around the Bodensee uh, did actually um, help the independent um, candidate um, or the countryside in the uh, south uh, east of Austria has absolutely voted for um, the right-wing candidate Hofer, who will be a precursor or might be a precursor or something that signals that Marine Le Pen and the AfD in Germany might still have some momentum, but for the, for the moment, the momentum coming out of Brexit, coming out of Trump, which was um, uh, which was regarded as being endless momentum, has stalled for the moment. And so let's see if that uh, is going to continue. We've got Stephen Hawking um, out of the UK saying that we need um, a more cooperation on a global basis. Um, we've got the technology to destroy our planet, but we have no escape that has been found yet. Cooperation is needed more than anything before. Environment is, um, uh, needs to be protected. Uh, species are extinct or uh, there's extinction of uh, species. There is a problem with food production and the scarcity of, it, of which could uh, threaten the human man, or could threaten mankind. That is actually what um, Stephen Hawking is saying and, and Trump um, did actually, in his opinion, appeal to the smallest common denominator. Um, and he thinks that the reason for the dissatisfaction is income inequality and automation and artificial intelligence will go deeply into the middle class jobs and destroy them. And so those jobs that will survive in the future will be creative jobs and supervisory jobs. And there will be more job losses in the middle class coming in his opinion. So more inequality. And so we need to cooperate and not, uh, and not uh, go different ways. Everyone uh, goes his own way. So no separation, but cooperation is that what he actually thinks is the right thing to do. If you look at the chart of Brent crude, very interesting, the OPEC has a cooperation formed with Russia and has cut production more than expected, and Russia has, um, has settled something on it. And so now we've got the technical, um, from a te technical um, analysis uh, perspective, we've got a breakout out of an inverted head and shoulders bottoming formation, the target of which is between 68 and 78. 68 if you project the height of the inverted head and shoulders pattern out from the low of the right shoulders upwards is 68 if you project it upward at the on the neckline breakout point which we had so passed on a weekly closing basis last week then you get 78 so those are two really high uh, price targets out of this bottom formation it's really interesting to see that um, 
Donald Trump wants to deregulate the fracking sector. So over time, I think that there will be market share losses coming to OPEC and Russia. But for the time being, they will have more gains than will gain market share. And uh, yeah, that's a really, really uh, good situation here for the oil price and for the companies that actually produce oil.